Hello everyone, my name is Alfred and uh, for this video I'm going to teach you about uh, optimizing our Photoshop for digital painting purposes uh, and then adding some of our brushes and keyboard shortcuts that we recommend so that uh, you'll be more optimized for digital painting. So why we do that is that um, actually Photoshop itself is more it's better for to just fix photos to um, to do a graphic design stuff. It's not really um, optimized for digital painting, but it can be very good at it. That's why I like to do a few tweaks and customization, and I'll teach that to you guys as well, so that we will all benefit from it. So try to stick with me throughout this video. Uh, although it's a, a bit long, and then uh, the steps can be a bit tedious, but you have to follow through, and then uh, you have to. It will be really, really, really beneficial for you, and. Uh, so just uh, try your best to stick around. All right, so uh, I have a Windows Explorer to my right side window, okay? So it's very important. This is the materials given to you this week. So remember, this is the materials given to you this week uh, by Alfred, myself. And then uh, this Photoshop file that I have open is actually this file over here, which is uh, the assignment that we are going to do for this week. All right. So, I'm just going to go through this uh, JPEG files. Okay, so for the keyboard shortcuts that uh, I'm helping you guys to adjust itself, uh, it's actually going to affect the default shortcuts, and I'll tell you the reason why. So, the top part is the default shortcuts, the bottom part will be the shortcuts given by me. All right, and then all the blue ones, all these blue ones are actually uh, default shortcuts. They are not affected and they are very useful for you to learn when beginning the lesson as well as the space too. All right. So these few are not affected. So what are affected? The red ones. The red, these three. O, I, O, and K. Okay, so we look at the default shortcut. I, O, and K. So what is I? I used to be an uh, eyedropper. I change it into burn two. And then O used to be dodge too, and then uh, I just keep it to be dodge through all the way, you know, uh, because it, it used to be dodge, burn, and sponge at the same time. So I just make sure that it sticks to be just a dodge through throughout. And then the sponge too, it used to be a 3D too, I change it into using the K shortcut over here. Right. So by Doing these three shortcuts like this, I can jump between I, O, and K, burn, dodge, and sponge very easily. For the green ones, I use uh, H, J, and N. So if you look over here, H used to be hand tool, J used to be healing brush, and it used to be camera. And then I change this to, uh, I think the remember, important one you need to remember is the smudge tool. Uh, both myself and Mr. Sean, we like to use um, the smudge, smudge brush, uh, the smudge tool to you know digital paintings and it's uh, very nice for us to make small adjustments to our painting strokes after we have we have, we have painted it. Okay. And then the blur and sharpen I think you can it's quite self explanatory that you, you can understand from it. Okay. So I'll show you the next uh, next slide. Okay so the eyedropper tool we can why we why I use this tool because it's near to O and then also uh, we can already have the eyedropper tool. So when we are using the default brush tool and you hold down alternate, you can grab the eyedropper brush. So is this shortcut itself is actually a duplicate, so it's not useful. So I just put it into something useful over here. The this tree in with a cross, the healing brush, 3D tools and 3D camera, seriously no one um uses it as much. It's for very specific purposes. And uh, you can if you still need it, you can use your mouse to grab them. And then the uh, finally the hand tool is the same thing with the uh, eyedropper tool. You can hold down space when you are using brush tool, and then you can use hold down space to grab the hand tool. So um, it's pretty useful both of this, and then it's, it'll be good if you give it a try. To when you are using the brush mode, you can hold down Alt or you hold down space to just grab the eyedropper or grab the Use a hand tool to just move your canvas around. All right, so this is the adjust the shortcuts in list format. And then if you don't want to think I'm a bit long winded, you can just um, look at this simplified version. And you just need to remember burn, dodge, I, O, and then H, smudge too. Okay, so at least you have a shortcut, or if you are 
like an advanced Photoshop user, you are not happy with my shortcut. Uh, feel free to change it on your own later. And then, um, but at least I think you should have burn, dodge, and smudge somewhere on your keyboard so you can jump between them very easily. I'm not talking about um, using one shortcut for three purposes. That's a bit slow already. Uh, you need it for individual purposes for digital painting. All right, so that's my recommendation. All right, enough about that. So we have one Windows Explorer on the left, on the right, sorry. And then now I want to put a Windows Explorer on the right. So I have another Windows Explorer on the right. And then let's say uh, for my purpose of this video, you just need to remember the right side window. This is what Alfred has given you, that my files over here. And later we are going to transfer files to the left side. All right. So this is our Windows, uh, the default workspace in Photoshop. Okay. And then I'm going to bring up brushes, window, brushes. And then we will, we will have this brush window over here. Okay. So what I like to do, I like to bring this brush to the left side. And I'm going to make it small. Okay. So when you select any of these brushes, uh, this other brush, you can uh, adjust the shape dynamics and all this. Okay. We go through that more next time. So we'll keep it on this bar over here. So by default, our workspace will be constrained to something like this. And you can see that if you are me, you'll find it a bit annoyed. Like um, the brush window is on the left and then on the right, we have the layers, we have the history, all these which are important. But what is this? This is actually the default essential shortcut. And it, um, since Photoshop updated a few years ago, they came up with the brilliant idea to put this space on the right side. And um, it's actually pretty crazy. It takes up so much space. I have a 27 inch uh, monitor and then it, it still takes up so much space to me. So what I like to do by default is to get rid of this. So how you can get rid of this, you can just grab this, take it out and you press cross, or you want to keep it somewhere, you can just put it behind here. But for me, I would just uh, throw it away. Okay. Library, same thing, I'll just throw it away. So this feels uh, much better for me. And then what I like to do is I like to keep my color on the top, uh, my history over here, and then layers over here. All right, so the history is actually over here. You click on this button here, you grab the history, or you can go to Windows, history, you grab the history. And then uh, by default, you can also keep it here and you can make it long. So you will you have all the undos and shortcuts on your Photoshop document. I myself like to keep it here. So it's a little bit neater for me. And then I can adjust this part to be a bit smaller. So my left side and right side, I try to constrain it a little bit more. Okay, and then this is kind of like my my optimized uh, workspace style over here. Okay, so now I have this uh, default default uh, default brushes. I press uh, shift click to select them, and I press right click to do a new brush group. I call this the default brushes Photoshop. Okay, so now they are all in one group, default brushes Photoshop. Okay, now we can click on this small button here and we press import brushes. Import brushes. What this does is uh, it is going to show me the default directory, which is the Adobe Photoshop CC presets directory on your computer. Okay. So if you need to browse on your computer, it will take a long time because you need to go to C drive, users, your username, and then app data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe twice, and then for presets to actually uh, go to this path here. So in the, oh, I need to grab, go to this uh, presets file. That's why I want to um, select this whole shortcut here. Okay, so I'm, so I'm gonna grab this file. I'm not gonna load these things. The reason for me to bring up this window is to, not to load it right now, but to grab this directory. So I'll select this whole sec section, right click, cut. Now I'll go to my Windows Explorer. 
right click paste on the left okay so so my left side it has uh, I've gone to my local local computer this is where the uh, local computer is Photoshop is using the uh, is showing the preset so so if you adjust the files here let's say I adjust brushes I adjust uh, keyboard shortcuts I adjust some of these things um, it will be refreshed every time we open up Photoshop so we don't need to do it every time so you just need to do it once you do it right and then you don't need to do it again okay so on the right side windows I'll browse into this uh, presets for students and then there's another preset directory and then you see these four folders here so we are actually going to to uh, transfer these four folders into these four directories actions brushes keyboard shortcuts and custom shapes all right so we're going, we going to do a transfer here the best way to do it is is that we right click an empty space and then we say paste so we copy i repeat again the best way to do this is we right click copy copy here and we go to an empty space at the bottom and you do a right click and you paste paste here right so i'll go ahead and do that so by the way if your your view is on large icons or something um there might still be space but i prefer to view this as list or details so view this as list or details is going to be much easier and you will be following my format to do this on the right side i'll select all these four folders right click copy on the left side empty space empty space right click paste so so if it asks you some questions, just say uh, paste. Uh, and I'm not replacing anything, remember? I'm not screwing anything up, don't be afraid. We are just adding new and better stuff to it, to your Photoshop local computer. All right, I repeat again. Left side, right click, copy, bottom, empty space, right click, paste. Okay, so common mistakes, common mistakes some students, uh, some users, they try to follow the video they may do is, uh, they may paste it over here, which is wrong. You see, the, this is uh, one level above, and then we need to go into the presets folder of Photoshop to do it. Okay, so I'll delete it. Presets folder, and then some students, they will do an mistake. They will copy the presets folder that I've given them, and then they paste it here. So common mistake, please don't do this. It doesn't work. Uh, obviously, as I told you before, you have to match the four folders, actions to action, brushes, and then the keyboard shortcuts. Like just uh, try to follow exactly what I did. Right click, copy, empty space, right click, paste, and you do it. All right now we have the file on our Photoshop. We can actually load this file. So so once you paste it, you should see this file here. This is my file that I've given you, and if you do that right, you can now load it. So you can go ahead and load this uh, first, this brush file, and then you can open up this arrow key. So uh, this is Alfred brush. This is the brush I use personally for my digital painting, and uh, I've collected a lot of brushes. And uh, this second one is uh, Mr. Sean's brush. And then the third one was uh, by another teacher, Miss Data. Okay. And then uh, we are just giving them to you. Uh, it's all very useful. So for example, the fourth folder has some of my perspective brushes. So if you are doing, you know, two point perspective, so, so like one point perspective, two point perspective, then you can draw the lines and you get you get your perspective lines done. Okay, just as an example of what my brushes do. Not going to go through too, down, too much on this video. So finally, you have the default brushes PSD file and then you have the the my my recommended settings um default for this uh, lesson okay and then what i'd like to do is i'll just drag the default brush psd into uh, below as the third folder here and then uh and yeah you can jump between if you like the default brush nothing wrong with the default brush by the way um you can just use this uh, general brushes and maybe a dry media brushes and you can do amazing things as well the brush is not the most important thing all right but we just want to give you a little bit more resources and uh, you'll be fine all right so uh, we have now pasted in our files our brush is done and then unfortunately we need to close Photoshop now because for the keyboard settings 
uh, pick keyboard shortcuts, uh, it will not refresh until a restart of version. Okay, so now I'll just uh, say I'll not save to close it and I'll open up Photoshop again. Okay, while it's open up, maybe I can just repeat again. Uh, go to this preset, right click, copy, empty space, empty space, right click, paste to grab to be able to uh, have everything there nicely. So this will be done. Okay, so uh, let me open up uh, just a just a Photoshop file. Okay, so how do you uh, change the keyboard shortcuts? You go to edit, keyboard shortcuts. Edit, keyboard shortcuts. Then we are going to change the keyboard shortcuts here. Stay with me, yeah? Almost done with the this uh, tutorial here. All right, so the keyboard shortcuts uh, you see on this window here on the right side you can set this. So uh, this is for Alfred that I've given to you guys. So Alfred keyboard shortcuts with the date. So if you just switch it up, so this will not be refreshed. If just now you didn't close Photoshop like what I did, you will not see this file here. So you need to close your Photoshops. And uh, just now you should have copied your file over correctly. So if you don't see this file here right now, either you didn't copy this file over correctly to your local drive, or you uh, miss one of the steps so you can go back in the video to just watch how I copy this over again. I don't want to repeat. I think I repeated three, three times in this video already. Or you can just restart your Photoshop. So once you just set this over here, you'll be done. You can just press OK. One more thing to take note. I am a legacy user in Photoshop. So I do use, uh, I've been using Photoshop for like 12 years. So I do use a lot of things with uh, legacy shortcuts. So I have this two on. And uh, yeah, it's just a preference. Um, I'm not forcing you to do it. It's up to you. Okay, just to let you know. All right. So once you have got this one, you really should do it. So from Photoshop shortcuts, you change it to Alfred keyboard shortcuts that I recommend to you guys. So now how to test that I have it right already. So I'll just add a new layer over here. And then uh, I just need to look over here at these two icons. So these two icons will show me dodge burn, sponge, smudge, smudge, uh, sharpen, blur. Okay, so I just need to go through the shortcut. I, O, K, J, N, B, J, N, H, J, N. You know, and then I just play around this view. Yeah, I have it working. I'm good, I'm good. So, okay, once we are done here, okay, either, either way, uh, you should be pretty much good by now. I just want to finish up the video really quickly. Windows workspace, go to Windows workspace. We just want to save this workspace here. So we would do this and then you would, you would remember everything we did today. So it's important we do that so that we save this workspace so that we don't have to do everything again if uh, something refreshes from Photoshop or we screw things up, we can just load this workspace again. So press this new workspace. Maybe you can put this by your name. Uh, my name is Alfred. So I just say Alfred first. November 2020, and then I'll save my keyboard shortcuts, I'll save my menus, my toolbars, which includes uh, all these toolbars, location, all these uh, menus, uh, workspace, location, and then all the keyboard shortcuts I set just now. Okay, so it will save all this for me in this uh, new workspace shortcut. Okay, so let's say uh, one day Photoshop refreshes or something resets. Uh, maybe your cousin used your Photoshop and then he likes the default one, so he he reset it to default like this. And you're like, ah, oh, I need to set everything again. Nope. We can just go to Windows, Workspace, and then Alfred, 1st November, the file that I saved just now. And I'll load it back. All right, so only thing that you don't have is the, the brushes. So you may need to load the brushes again. So you just click brushes and you load it here. All right, so I hope you learned this video and I hope it's not too long. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, thanks.